welcome folks to our group's presentation on digital escape rooms. So today in this very short video, I'm gonna give you a brief introduction into what an escape room actually is and kind of give you a layout of what's actually gonna happen with the rest of the presentation. So later on, we'll get Aaron and Melanie to explain the research behind the escape rooms and how they're actually important to education, as well as Jeremy's gonna go over how it links to both UDL at BD, as well as being linked to formative and summative assessments. And then we're actually going to go over to a demonstration so you have an idea as to what exactly an escape room is. So the point of this is for us and the goal of our presentation is to inform educators about the concept of escape rooms or breakout rooms as they're also known and how they're really helpful to engage and evaluate students on curriculum standards as well as incorporating some of that uh, tech integration which we've been talking about. So what is an escape room anyway? Well typically an escape room is something you would find outside of the classroom where you have a set of puzzles they need to solve to get out of the room. We've incorporated that into the classroom though where the puzzles are actually centered around the curriculum or the skills that you're looking at for your course. So what exactly is a digital escape room? Well, it's actually the same thing. The only difference is, is rather than having a physical puzzle that you solve within the classroom, it's a digital puzzle that's done on a tablet, a phone, a computer, typically using a Google platform, such as Google Forms, Google Websites, or Google Slides, etc. So with the actual digital escape room itself, all of the locks that you need to solve that would normally be an actual lock, like on a box in a classroom, are now all digitized and now digital locks. So students have to use websites, other resources, find out the information to use that to solve for that particular four digit lock or three digit lock, or maybe even something like a 10 letter lock. That's the best part about these digital escape rooms is you don't need something physical in front of you. You can just use your websites, you can use your Google Classroom. So I definitely think that you should be using escape rooms, either digital or physical within your classroom because it's so beneficial to your students. You know, it's adaptable to any subject. It's really important for critical thinking skills, obviously improves communication skills, it builds inferencing skills. It just challenges people in a way. But one of the most important parts is that it's completely adaptable to your class and to your needs, to your students' needs. And also it's just really fun. It really is very engaging activity to do with your class. So we do hope you enjoy the rest of this presentation and we're gonna get into a lot of the research and the theory behind these escape rooms and why they are so effective and why you should be using them in your classroom.